Hello everyone and welcome to the final episode of Habzix Plays Mass Effect Andromeda on Insanity, even though the Insanity portion is kind of irrelevant because today we really just have some final talking to people and all that stuff. <laughs> Got all these emails that I think are probably, yeah, just bullcrap that I don't care about. And, yeah, we're gonna wrap up the game. We're gonna wrap up Mass Effect. We're gonna wrap it all up. <laughs> and announce the future of the channel, I the guess. Oh, look, we yours. already launched into people. Neither is it yours. That is the point, isn't it? Pathfinder, you're late. <laughs> For what? Save the cluster straight back to work. I get it. It must seem like that, but this wouldn't be possible without you. As outposts become colonies, the cluster needs its own voice, a true council. And while I maintain that it is premature, we must nominate an interim ambassador to represent concerns outside the Nexus. Or rather, you must nominate someone. Uh, why me? I can handle a hot potato, but why throw it to me in the first place? Because we need it to be legitimate. We can't impose a vote on the Ungar. Or even Kadara. Elodin? Won't happen. But you've acted for everyone. If you endorse a name, some may disagree, but they will trust it as a starting point. Someone to speak for Helios. I put forward Pathfinder Hager. I'd suggest you, but someone might think you killed the Archon to elevate yourself. We can't allow the appearance of that. Well, I'm not going to go with Hager. Keeps the position and the timeline in the Nexus family. Okay, so not Bradley, unfortunately. Not Hager because Tan wants it. Uh, maybe an Angaran, the Moshai, or we could give the Krogan a voice. Ho, <laughs> ho, See, realistically, I think it is the Angara's cluster. It's the most, you know, rational to give it to them. I kind of want to give a, the Krogan a voice because I don't like Tan. This choice doesn't really matter. If we want stability, maybe we should ensure the Krogan stay. What if it was Morda? <laughs> you are out of your mind. Yep, I am. It's definitely unorthodox. Let's consider the Moshai for a second. The Angara need to help define the process. It's their right. Plus, the Moshai would help solidify relations. We're already partnered, thanks to your efforts against the Rokar. All the more reason to focus on our own issue. All right, Morda it is. Do you want the Pathfinder to pick a voice? I'm picking Morda. You're welcome. I think the Krogan have waited long enough for a seat on a council. Well, it certainly colors Meridian's opening day. Don't worry, number eight. You'll be fine. <laughs> okay, I'm happy with that choice. You're all welcome. Sarah is feeling better. Good. This decision, the policy and protocol, that's not what your victory was about. There's more to life than this. Yes, there is. There's a lot more to life than Andromeda. But I do still have... Ten people to talk to. That's four, one. Okay, so yeah, this I'm, I don't even care about hitting them in a like decent order. Uh, as soon as I encounter someone, I'm just gonna go for it. So first up, it's going to be right here, and it's Kala. Oh, it's just my team. Ryder, enjoying the fruits of your labor? You deserve it. Thanks. Kala. Wait, where's Cora? The Tempest is getting some much-needed service. I thought I'd leave them to it. But I wouldn't miss the big day. Meridian looks so different out of the cockpit. I think I understand better why you do what you do. Can't change your career. Thinking of trading in your pilot's chair for some muddy boots? Not even slightly. I know what I'm good for. I don't pretend to understand everything. But Meridian must have opened a lot of doors. Not all of them safe. I want you to know that it'll be my privilege to keep flying you to them. I'm so glad you're going to be willing to do that in the DLC and the sequel. With us, right, Bioware? Of course. <laughs> And keeping my ship is a plus. I've learned a lot from you, Ryder. And Gil. Though, please don't tell him that. Things will change now. But that's all right. Nothing's ever really lost. Okay, that was sweet. Uh, next up, we have... I'm not talking to anyone who's not a teammate. Oh, hey, Cor. I guess I'm going to knock you out. There you are. Here I am. And here you are. Lucky us. How's Sarah? Much better. There might be two riders around soon. 
Imagine. Oh, don't get too excited. Forming scientific teams. Got to start studying what we have. I may have helped them organize. Of course you did. It's what you do. Meridian won't know what hit it. And we should think about what's next. This is a new cradle for humanity. That's a big idea. Bigger than I'd imagined. So maybe building those teams was smart. Small steps oh, to yeah, those teams that I didn't this. use. Until we're at the top of the mountain. And seeing the next horizon. Can't deny it. I'm game for more. With so much power in our hands, you think it'll be okay? We can see to that. They've got us to keep watch. Your smarts, my irresistible charm. You can't and two dump truck asses. Job, sweetheart. I can try. Well, I know I can't resist you. I'm just concerned for everyone else. Everything Meridian could do. Well, we'll find it out together. Cora, sometimes you just have to leap out there and see where it takes you. Yeah, I guess you do. Whatever happens, you gave everyone an incredible gift. Chlamydia? Nice <laughs> job, Pathfinder. All right, Jaw, what's happening? <laughs> So this is how you all party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty tame. This isn't really a party. Don't tell the host I said that. Meridian We're all just kind of standing amazing, around. Though. You accomplished the inconceivable. I'm grateful to be part of it. I'm grateful you're no, here. I'm grateful. I'm just kind of riding these conversations out, everybody. <laughs> I don't need the and harp on things exactly yet. Exactly what it is, what it may Become this is taking longer than I expected already, though, so we'll I see, uh... Can't even imagine we'll see how long to think this takes. When we met, the Angara and your initiative struggled to find trust. The way we arrived on Aya was over the top. You know, uninvited and on fire. Oh yeah, we were on fire, weren't we? <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Guess it worked out okay. Ryder... The Angara will never forget how you saved the Moshai. Good. But more than that, we'll never forget how you fought the Ket beside us. How we destroyed the Ark. How I, you were there. Is a well, actually, you were. For your people and mine together. It's like a fairy tale. Do you have those where everyone walks off into the sunset holding hands? At a time like this, I, I I think it's strange that you can't resist making a joke. I can't. It's a pathological so. issue. <clears throat> Jal, our people... Actually, no, I can't. <laughs> Actually, I kind of like it. Yeah, it's a pathological thing, you know. Oh, fuck Nuggets, it's him. Um, I guess he is. Yep, cool. What's up, Liam? Let's get through this. Scott! Kept a seat for you in your planet. That's not getting less weird. About time Meridian got a proper grand opening. We all need this. Heard Sarah woke up. How's she doing? Healthy. Can She'd you leave me alone? If I said anything but great, which means great. Stubborn as hell. I hear it runs in the family. Hey, I hear you should shut your trap. A second wave technician, fresh out of cryo, just had his first sunrise in Andromeda. He couldn't stop crying. Just him? <laughs> Uh, must be something going around. Maybe you're the carrier. It's really feeling like home, you know? Finally. They haven't given you five minutes alone since the fight. Have you had a chance to let it sink in? Sometimes I just stare out the window. You know, you're talking to me. You can we give did. me five minutes. It's hard to believe. I feel you. Just ground under our feet, knowing it's ours. I can't I already wait burned through a cup of coffee doing this already. Enjoy it, Pathfinder Rider. Tomorrow, we're back on the job. Define we, Liam. Uh, you're not who I'm looking for. You are. What's up? Oh, there's Drac, too. So, Tan says he's gonna let me stick around and help with the... Hey, Ryder. Hear anything good? What's the word on the street? Ryder saves the day. Pathfinder of the century. You know, the usual. Yeah. Still? Get used to it. They're gonna name things after you when you die. And probably even before. So, we heading out again soon? Oh, she's all grown up, leaving home, doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> That'll be the day. We'll handle my deals on this end while I'm gone. One second, everyone. Okay, so I actually missed half of that because of a phone call. Um, oh, sisterly collusion, I guess is what I'll go for. Seeing you two in cahoots makes me all misty. You know this is your fault, right? Helping us along? 
Helis is I'll really take the blame. The fresh start I wanted, in so many ways. And now with Meridian, we're really going to make this place ours. I can't wait. You know where to find me when you're ready. Okay. Uh, not that way. I need to go this way. Hey. You have to see this. Drac, what's up? Got a job, kid. Old man. <laughs> this place is something else. That's a start. It's just another starting line. Where we go from here is on us. Well, damn, you were listening to me after all. Through all the creaking of your old bones. <laughs> <laughs> and the parts that need oil. <laughs> I sent out the Nackmore scouts. Nearly drowned me in reports until I pointed them at Tan. Told him to be extra wordy just for him. There you go. He'll love that. He wanted the job, he can have the reports. It's not over, you know. There'll be more Ket and whatever else is waiting out there. We are going on an adventure. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> Crazy kid. Fighting for all the right reasons. Exactly. You're right, it'll be fun. Okay. Uh, I think I need to continue this way. But there should be four more. I don't know who all I'm missing. Looks like Subi's right there. Yeah, there's PB and CV. Owls. No, no dance. Okay, I guess we're doing the shepherd shuffle again. It's not what I wanted, but okay. Talk to the crew. PB, what's up? Oh, good. You're here. Maybe the festivities can finally begin. I don't like sitting on my ass. Places to see, people to go. You know what I mean. Well, let's get this show on the road. Meridian looks great, but, you know, been there, done that. Try to enjoy it. Hey, this was a big accomplishment. It's important to enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I'm proud of us. Helios is changing, and will be for a long time. I'm just antsy. Don't want to miss a thing. Oh, I almost forgot. Kalinda sent a congratulatory message. Oh, lovely. She was ankling for an invitation, I think. Denied. Hope you didn't turn her back into an enemy. Oh, you're always so serious. Enjoy uh, according to Jaw, I joke too much. To celebrate, remember? Look who's talking, Miss Basale. Just keeping you on your toes. For now, you're right. The galaxy isn't going anywhere. Let's have some fun. Cool. Hey, Subi, what's up? Meridian, huh? I see you every day, and I'm still amazed. We're really starting to put down roots. It's wonderful. Did I tell you? The team's working with the Angara to set up a joint research body. That sounds exciting. I know. I can't wait. Us helping them, them helping us. Can you imagine what we could accomplish? <sighs> I'm getting all misty just thinking about so, it. So, when's the party? Joint research body, cooperation with the Angara? You're planning a party, right? Of course. Nothing builds a team like a good whiskey and a laugh. You'd better show up, Ryder. We wouldn't be here if not for you. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world. Uh, who's, Le I know, oh, Lexi Hi. and Gil, I guess. Hey, Lexi, what's up? Still standing. Still standing. Still standing. And I did my job, somehow. Nothing more need be said. <laughs> like, I believe that. I'll remember that the next time you chew me out for getting hurt. So will I, Ryder. So will I. <laughs> okay, at least that was quick. Uh, I guess that leaves Gil. Good work. Who's right here and ready to go, I guess? Hey, Ryder. Jill is walking the walk. The procedure took. I'm gonna be a dad. Congrats! Congratulations. I'm thinking Mary if it's a girl, Deanne if it's a boy. Mary, Deanne, <laughs> Marie, Deanne. Pretty cool. I like right? it. Pretty cool. Knew you'd like it. So, this is supposed to be a celebration, right? Getting used to any of this yet? Meridian? The dream becoming a reality? It's a lot to take in. I'm still in the pinching myself phase. Well, I'm sure everyone here would be happy to line up and give you a pinch. Don't make it weird. But so you know, I've got the Tempest topped out and ready. You want to blow this hot dog stand? Just say the word. Callow's out there somewhere, time one on. If we're really sneaky, he won't even notice we're gone. Who's flying then? You? Why the hell not? I'm a quick study. How hard can it be? <laughs> you better get this nonsense out of your system in the next nine months, you know. <laughs> Little Mary's gonna have a fun dad. Okay, well. 
uh, return to the Tempest and continue exploring. That is the epilogue. I wonder if we'll have a little bit of a scene heading back here. Return to the Tempest. Do we have a little moment, or is it just going to take us there? We have a moment. Come on, guys. <clears throat> Living so soon? It's very emotional. I gotta go. Figured I'd leave before I teared up. No one needs to see that. Some may want to see exactly that. To know you feel the same as they do. I'm new to this role myself. The training didn't cover how to honor your peers. There's no protocol. Your father invented this role, but you defined it. I did. Let's go explore, guys. This is great and all, but it feels weird to be on a ship that isn't moving. We're explorers. There's more to see out there. Let's go find it. Let's go. Once more into the breach. Not a bad little last line, even though it's technically still not done. <laughs> there is more side stuff I could do. There's, I even think, another mission hanging out with Drac that is about to unlock. And I don't know if I'm going to even do that. I think I'm just going to do the last thing here and then wrap it all up. We're blasting off again. Apparently today was the worst day to try to finish recording Mass Effect because I got another call. But this is really just the start menu, so I can go ahead and close out of that. Sam, that's 100% viability on all known UNC's Pathfinder. Please access the Tempest VidCon for an important update. Oh, okay. Um, there's also... Yeah, I don't think Tempest I'm going to finish talking all to right. her. I think I'll go to the VidCon. And really just you have finish this out and get my last them. thoughts. Eh, sorry, Drac. Don't think I'm gonna hang out anymore. Think how much we'll get done with two riders. I can't wait to see Ephra's face when he lands. Uh, hey, Sam. What's up? Who's that? There's a new task because we hit 100% viability. Apparently. It is a significant milestone, Pathfinder. Preparations have been made for some time. Okay. I mean, we've been at 100% for a while, so what is it? That for everyone. Updating objectives. You have a high priority destination. At Habitat 7? What's going on? I have been instructed to not reveal mission parameters. Oh, come on. Don't be late, Pathfinder. Question is do I want to be late and do this thing with Drac? Nah. I think I'm just going to call it. Who needs an additional scene? I've done enough with everybody. <laughs> I'm just ready to be done. So we'll return to Habitat 7. Ah, but it is Drac. I think we'll stop. Well, I think he wants to meet at the Nexus. Allies and relationships. Read an email from Drac. Let's see what he said. Writer does lead us to interesting. I think there's anywhere more in Uh, maybe on the Nexus. Don't tell anyone. Interesting in Meridian. Okay, okay. So I guess I'll go to the Nexus real if quick. Is, Knock out two things. In stable orbits. Anomaly on sensors. Don't care. I need to go to the Nexus real fast, apparently. Just knock a couple things out.
skip this. I need to talk to him and Kiri or whatever her name is. And then, yeah, get through the rest. <laughs> whatever it may be. Okay. Everyone here now? So Drax right here. Kiri, I don't know where she is. Let's take a look, actually. Journal. Additional tasks. Is she on Meridian? I thought she was here. Oh, she's upstairs also. Cool. The Angara are survivors. Yeah, we've had that conversation plenty of times. They'll be great allies. Oh, they're like right next to each other. That's good. Hey, Kiri, what's up? You made it back. You always come back. Yeah, I do. I was worried about you after the cat attack. I wasn't afraid. Mo was here for sloppy just afraid seconds. For you, everything will change now. I want to start documenting Meridian, and I guess you'll be busy, too. Not everything will change. Not if we don't want it to. Well, then. We'll both have something to hold on to. Okay, that was easy. And Drax should be here also? Oh, he's, like, in here. Everything's reading normal. There's snow. Okay, I'm glad I'm here for oh, this. Oh, hey, Ryder. Harry? What's going on here? You're telling him? Oh, can I watch? Please. Of course. Tell me what. Got something to show you. Yes. I love surprises. Wait. Are those? Krogan children. <gasps> My children. I want to see the babies. Live in the egg. Oh. Every last They're one. They're just eggs? Okay. Nobody else knows, Ryder. Well. I don't know what's in store for me, but... However this turns out, I'll be part of our future. And so will you. Do you want my help raising them? So, does that make me the godparent? Don't let it get Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Godfather Rider. We're going to need more than one. Oh. Hope. It's a scary thing. I'll teach them, Ryder, about what we used to be and what we are now. Just like he taught me. Well, I'm glad I went back for that. Now, however, we're going to wrap this up with The World is Waiting. And after The World is done waiting, I can give what all of you are waiting for, which is my final thoughts that I have not teased in any way, shape, or form this entire time, no matter what anyone else is saying about me hating this game. Right now, I could play for which, more. spoiler. <laughs> Actually, I will say while I get things loaded, I'm going to go ahead and rank the squad mates in this one because it's super easy. It's Drac, Vetra, PB, followed by Jal, then Korra, and then way at the bottom is Liam. I also did make a ranking of all of the main squad mates in the Mass Effect franchise. It's a little, some of them can change on a like dime. I have that written out, so I'll have to pull it up here in a little bit to fully read that, but I'll, I'll make that kind of the last thing that I do. Where am I going? I'm going back here yes i think Lexi wanted to speak to you i think i don't care i think i'm going to go here and see what's going on at habitat 7 Anomaly detected. Yay, skip. Cool. We've arrived. Where it all began. So, back at Habitat 7. 
What am I supposed to see? And what's it got to do with 100% viability? I'm getting initiative signals, magnetosphere charges, and atmosphere probes. The vault here remains non-functional, but with 100% viability to invest, we've begun terraforming this world with initiative technology. Oh, that's cool. The good old-fashioned hard way. It'll eventually be a home too, thanks to you. Uh, Dad would approve. My father would like that. There is one more item, Pathfinder. Opening channels to the Nexus, Meridian, Podromos, Deteon, Tevuni, New Tachanka, and Initiative Allies. That's a lot of cheering. By unanimous vote, this world is to be renamed. Habitat 7 is now listed astronomically as Rider 1. Hey! Your world, Pathfinder. Their future. This is my world. <laughs> All right. And that's the end of the game. Um, I don't think I need to surprise anybody when I say I am not a fan of this game. I, I, the thing is, it's deceptive. I think the beginning is great. I think the ending is really good. I think everything in the middle is absolute crap. It is just tedious and boring. And I... I Literally, I cannot, for the life of me, get into it. It just, it never... Oh, hey, I have a cool trophy there. Anyways, uh, I, it just never really picks up for me. I think I see what they were going for, and I appreciate what they were going for. It just didn't work. It's a lot of meandering and just so much filler content. It's It, it really does hit what I call the Witcher 3 effect where there's so much side content in The Witcher 3, and th there's way more side content than main story in The Witcher 3. I think everybody knows that who's played that game. And in that game, it works. But in no other game has it come close to working as well. And this game is really a shining example of that. Like I said, it's got a great hook at the beginning. And then it, for me, after you... Like, when you go to leave Eos, after settling Padromos until... You land on Meridian and get that car chase. This game is a slog. There is just not enough content here and enough story. I mean, some of the characters are fun and interesting. Like, I love Drac. Drac is actually... He's fairly high on my ranking of all of the Mass Effect squad mates. I think he's a cool character. There are other cool moments. It just never lands for me. And so, for me, this game is a pretty obvious and strong not recommend. It's probably, I don't know, it, Crash 3 was a pretty miserable experience too, but this this is either the worst or second worst game I've played on the channel, and I hate to say that because it's coming from a franchise I love. Ranking the franchise, 2 is obviously my favorite, which it's interesting because 2 doesn't have a whole lot of story either, so it really goes to show what good characters, cool style, and really just atmosphere can add to a game because like the story that whole story is build a team and then do this one mission and that's pretty much it there's i mean there might be less story there might be more story here than there but that game pulls it off and it makes it fun it makes it rewarding and so much of it is that team this team i don't know i like a hand i mean i like maybe half of them the other half i don't really care for <laughs> So, it's, yeah, two's the easy winner. One and three are kind of a toss-up. I ranked one a little higher when I played the, uh, on YouTube. I, when I when I did the Insanity run there, I ranked one a little higher. So, I'll say two, one, three, very large chasm, Andromeda. Andromeda is just the pits to me. But, yeah, I mean, there's so much promise. And, and what's weird is I wish we got the DLC. I wish there was more of this universe because I think there is a lot of promise here. We just never got it, and it's never going to get that chance to run. It's never going to get that chance to flourish, and it makes it really hard to care about the little bit that we did get. So, pretty strong not recommend. Very strong not recommend, actually. But in terms of squad mates, if I have just a second to get that pulled up, because I have it written out somewhere. Uh, I think I have it written out right here. So... Like I said, this one, it's Drac, Vetra, PB, Jaw, Cora, Liam is my ranking. Now, overall, and I divided this in the five groups of five here. So, my top tier of Mass Effect, and, and some of these are a little bit interchangeable. Some of them are kind of kind of on that line of possibly being passed. It stayed the same from the original trilogy. It's Garrus, Rex, Morden, Thane, and Jack are easily my top five. I just love those five characters. You get to the next five, it's actually kind of interesting. It's Legion... 
Drac, so Drac from this game is number seven on my list. He beat Tally, Liara, and Miranda for me. I just think he's that fun of a character, and I, I, I kind of hate that he was kind of saddled with such a bleh game. You get to the the middle tier of the five, where they're they're just kind of there. They're not really great. They're not really bad. They're just. I wish I had more of them. You have Grunt, who's the best of that lot. Who honestly, I really do wish. If he would have been a squad mate in three, I think he'd be a lot higher on the list too, because I love Grunt. But, you know, I, I, with the content we were given, that's where he landed. Followed by Javik, Vetra, another Andromeda character, Samara, and PB, another Andromeda character. So, yeah, you see where I'm landing on a lot of these Andromedas. My, my top two, my second and third favorite are in the middle tier at best. And one of them is at the bottom of that. The, honestly. And they could have been passed by some in the next tier, because Kasumi I like a lot, but she had the same problem as Grunt, where she's just not in it a whole lot. Uh, Edie, Jal, Zaid, and Korra. So, they're not all in the bottom, but the bottom is definitely Ashley, James, Caden, surprise, to maybe nobody, Jacob, and then Liam. I just, I hate Liam so much. He's the worst. But I also think it's funny... All of the human characters, not all, I mean, Miranda and Jack are kind of the exceptions here. I don't, I think they might be the only exceptions to this, but all of the humans besides those two are at the bottom for me. It literally is like, well, Kasumi, I guess, has a little bit between it, but Zaid, Korra, Ashley, James, Caden, Jacob, Liam, all human, all near the bottom. And yeah, I honestly am surprised. It's weird. It's been two years almost that I've been playing Mass Effect on youtube and i'm stepping away from it we don't have a fifth game yet we have nothing left for me to do in this universe easily able to do there are some other mobile games that i probably have on an old phone somewhere that i could try and record but i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna step away from aspect hopefully i'll be returning i mean we did just pass in seven day last week and it'd be fun to come back to this world sooner rather than later. Hopefully I do get another game and it will be played on here. But for now, I do have to think of the future of the channel. I'm stepping away from our start. And I had three different series I was considering taking the place of Mass Effect. I landed on one that I'm not confident is the best choice, but it's the choice I landed on and it will make a lot more sense when I get to it. I'm going to crack open maybe the largest can of worms possible, both for controversy's sake and for the fact that it's going to take a long-ass time to finish. I'm going to play Assassin's Creed. I have played most, not all, of Assassin's Creed in the past, and I think it'd be fun to see how that world holds up. And I do have a reason that will be revealed in the first episode of Assassin's Creed, but we're going to have to wait on that because I have a lot of life stuff still going on. And quite frankly, I could use a little bit of a break from releasing five days a week. So I'm going to be cutting back to three for a little bit, though I think Crash will be ending soon too. But I'm going to take the rest of this calendar year off of my Tuesday, Thursday episodes. I'm going to come back in January, comes out guns blazing, have a little bit of a backlog, and be launching into a very interesting and controversial franchise with Assassin's Creed. But if this is your first time checking out any of my videos, go ahead and click the video there in the corner. It will take you back to the beginning of Mass Effect, not Mass Effect Andromeda. I'm going all the way back to my first YouTube video, Do You Want to Build a Shepherd? Mass Effect 1. Check it out because it was the beginning of a very long, very fulfilling journey. And if you like what you see, head on over to the video section where I have plenty of other great games and there's always more stuff coming down the pike. But in the meantime, I hope everybody stays safe and I'll see you guys next time.